Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question about software architects, right? Uh, so uh, basically the question is, are software architects uh, still relevant today? I think I've, I've got a couple of people that have asked this, so I figured I'd, I'd talk about uh, the role of a software architect and what, what I see it. Uh, in. Uh, a lot of people are talking about how uh, software architects are, you know, why software architects are employed in this new age of agile development in cloud computing. So a lot of teams, development teams, basically use an agile process where, where they don't necessarily have roles, where everyone wears different hats. So wh where does the software architect, uh, you know, play into this? So that's a good question. Now, I think that it, it, it's kind of weird because this is one of the failings of kind of Scrum and Agile methodologies is that we tend to, I like the iterative development process. I like the idea of taking something and building on it and really, you know, the whole Agile idea of, of only building what's necessary and, and talking to the customer and getting feedback and, and iterating. But a lot of times we need architecture we need to plan up front as well so I think there's I think we're going to get to a point where we eventually can sort of take both of these ideas and find them the middle ground right so I always talk about this idea and it, it applies especially in software development is we it's like this pendulum right the pendulum swings one way and that swings the other way right we've have a lot of different pendulums where we go from one direction like for example everything was desktop apps and then we went to the web and then we went to mobile apps, and then now we're trying to make the web look like mobile app, or m make the web look like desktop apps. And so things go back and forth, technology does. I think the same thing happens with this, is gonna happen with this whole idea of kind of the waterfall methodology, where we're, we're designing everything and planning everything and engineering thing up front, whereas you know on the agile scrum side, we're kind of swung all the way the other way, and we're like, no, we don't need architects, we don't need plans, we're just gonna go and build the software. And, and there's, there's merits to both these things, but you know, every time that this, this pendulum swings it, it back and forth, it also swings forward, right? It's, it's three dimensional, so it's going forward and closer. So, so we're, we're actually making progress as we go from extreme to extreme. And I think that's what's gonna happen here. So right now, the role of the software architect is sort of, sort of weird in these agile teams because you can't really have that authoritative role. Kind of different people have to assume that. So I, I do think that uh, that software architects are relevant though and that we're going to see more and more of this. I think what we're going to see is probably teams where they have sort of an architecture type of team, especially in bigger organizations, that kind of set the pace for the rest of the company and the, and the software projects being worked on. I think that role is still important because when you think about it, right, the, it's, it's a I mean, all developers should know how to do software architecture to some degree, but it's a very still specialized and custom role. Like you have to understand more than just writing code and, and, and writing algorithms to be able to do software architecture. And a lot of that comes from experience. And so you can't just take you know, one person on the team that has no experience and doesn't know architecture and an experienced architect who's been doing this for a long time and have them have the same kind of power or rights or you know, voting rights in the project. Instead, you, you've got to you know, be able to somehow take that software architect's experience and, and role and, and make that be, be useful to the team. Otherwise, you end up with you know, sloppy architects that aren't thought out ahead of time. So I think this is a really good question. I don't have a perfect answer for this actually at this point, right? Because I, right now I can't figure out where to put a software ar architect on a scrum team or an agile team except to put them over it and then kind of violate the rules of that. So like I said, I don't think we have a working system right now that that actually is, is optimal. I think we're gonna get there eventually. For now, if, you're, if you have plans of being a software architect, I think it's a totally fine way to go. You have to realize though that what, what is not going to be uh, acceptable going forward is being the kind of, uh, what do they call it, the, the white tower architect where you basically can't code but you just design the system. So you're going to be expected to be able to code as well.
it's more now that you would you would be specializing in architecture, but you can still do the other functions. And it's, you know, we're we're becoming more so that software developers have to have a, a larger baseline of skills. They have to be able to do some testing in, in QA and understand that. They have to be able to do some architecture and they have to be able to code. And so you can choose. I think what 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 I would envision is seeing that you know, if people have different skills in different areas. So maybe if you're in, in QA, you have the, the testing skills are, are kind of higher. If you're just doing pr a programmer, then, then that skill is higher. And if you're doing the architecture, that skill is higher, but you have all three of those skills. So yeah, I, I think software architects are still relevant, but, uh, but we'll, we'll see what, what happens in the future. I, all I know is that we're not gonna build software without some kind of architecture. So that role is gonna be required. And I know that the skills required to have good software architecture are skills that come from experience and, and they don't just they don't just come by random chance so they they have to be practiced and, and developed over time and not everyone has those skills so yeah i hope that answers your question like i said i i don't have an absolute answer for this i can't really tell you you know if 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 you should specialize in being a software architect or if that even makes sense but the role has definitely changed and it will change in the future so uh, anyway, thanks for that question. That was a good question uh, for all of you that have asked that question. If you've got a question for me, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care.